Please give me white. Please give me white. Red. <laughs> I didn't even know that was an option. I don't know if red's my color. What are you wearing? My assigned color. Put on this white shirt immediately. Okay, jeez. No one can know you've been assigned red. As far as anyone knows, your color's white. Got it? OMG Bestie, you also got assigned white? Yes, we're twins! Oh no, a group of reds is coming. We have to go immediately. Wait, why? Just go. Don't make eye contact. Uh, okay, I don't understand what's so bad about red. Everyone come in line for your color check. Make sure you have on your proper color. We'll know if you're lying. I, I have to go. Wait, we have color check. I'm on my period. You are not going anywhere. Why do you have on white? It, it's my color. No, it's not. Your color is blue? It's okay, you don't need to be ashamed. It's red. Oh no, I need to go. You are going to a place where all the other liars go. No. Get in there with all your other liar friends. So you guys all got assigned red too, huh? I'm Maria. Jake. Does anyone actually know what red means? It means we're a danger to society. My best friend got assigned white. She's terrified of me. I don't understand why she knows me. Reds are known to go after those assigned white. Their pure-hearted kindness makes them an easy target. I'm so tired. Are they going to give us anything to drink or eat? You may all come out now. If you ever lie about your color again, you will be eliminated from society. All right, red team. Let's go. I'm not going to go. I need to find my bestie. Wait. I really don't think that's a good idea. You don't know her like I do. Bestie, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh no, stay away from me. Where are you going? Why are you running? Stop running from me. Get away from me, you psycho red. I'm not red. I'm your best friend. You don't trust me? Somebody help me. This crazy red is after me. So, did you find her? Yeah, I did. Looks like it went really well. <laughs> hey. The other Reds and I are gonna go vandalize some stuff. You wanna come? Honestly, I'd love to. <laughs> I've never had this much fun in my entire life. Being a Red isn't so bad after all, is it? No, it really isn't. Oh no. What was that? It's the police! Run! That was insane. I have never run from the cops before. Being a Red, it's something that will happen often. I meant to ask you, why did you originally lie about being red? You seem so proud of it. I knew my parents would disown me if they found out, so I pretended. But now the secret's out. I can never go back. It's okay. You'll always have us. Alright friends, what is the plan next? Look over there. A bunch of people assigned white. Let's get them. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. Brianna, are you coming? What? No! Stop! Leave them alone! I can't believe you guys did that. You attacked them. It's our nature. It's what we do. We're reds. It's wrong. You're one of us now, okay? You need to start acting like it. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be like any of you. Where's your red? From here on out, I have no assigned color. Put on red. They're gonna send you to jail. Or worse, execute you. No, I don't fit in with any of these assigned colors. Therefore, I have no color. Hello, Brianna. I'm gonna need you to come with me. It's the president! Hey, leave her alone. Calm down there, fella. I would just like to speak with her. Jake, it's fine. I'll go with him. Have some tea. Thank you. I thought that we may have an issue with you. You see, you're the only person to show strong attributes of all three colors. We chose red because we thought it would best suit you, since you are going to be quite the danger to us. How are you enjoying your tea so far? Why do I feel so dizzy? Yeah, we're going to need you to sleep for a little while. What? Where am I? Good morning, Brianna. I'd like to make a deal with you. You have two options. Either I banish you from society for all eternity. No. Or we change your assigned color to white. You can do that? Yes, but you must always fit the mold. Always kind, never dangerous. Failure to do so, you will be banished. No second chances. Hey! Leave her alone, jerk. Jake? Maria? Look over there. It's a distraction. Run! Do you really want to live this way? A social reject? An embarrassment to your family? Brianna, don't listen to him. We'll tell everyone that we made a mistake. That you were always meant to be assigned white. Brianna, no. I'm sorry. It's 
the only option. I have to go with him. I knew it. You were always meant to be assigned white. What was it like, hanging out with those horrifying reds? They're literally insane. Don't talk that way about my friends. You can't be friends with them. They're assigned red. It's way too dangerous. Well, I am, and they're my friends. My real friends. I need to find them. Hey. What are you doing here, traitor? Would you guys please just let me explain myself? We're listening. I was only given two options. Either I'm banished from society for all eternity, or I change my assigned color to white. You still could have came with us. We would have protected you. You're meant to be red, not white. That's the thing. I don't fit in with any of the colors. There's no color I'm meant to be. What? That's impossible. But I have an idea. She's assigned white and she's sitting with reds? Has she lost her mind? Psst, Bessie. What are you doing over there? Come here! No, they're my friends. This whole color system is ridiculous. And it's about time somebody did something about it. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay... What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Wanna ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl Star. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You never miss any American Girl set. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No hologram. No hologram. No! No, 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 no hologram! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <laughs> see? You see? <laughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Pick a color. Today, let's try yellow. Bria, is that you? Yeah, it's really me. I can't believe you're at our school. Well, that's a little odd, considering, you know, I've gone here for four years. <laughs> you're so funny. Smile! This is going on my fan page. You have a fan page of me. Of course, basically everyone does. I think this power made me famous. Can you sign my backpack? Sure. Can you sign mine? No, I was waiting here for her first. No, I was here first. Please don't fight. You're making her uncomfortable. I am not. Being famous is way harder than I thought it would be. They won't leave me alone. I think I see her down there. They found me. Oh, I think I lost them. Hey. Hi. I want to be famous. Nah, trust me, kid. You don't. Being famous isn't all it's cracked up to be. Ah! No, there's her.
Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too. Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday, you can take your band-aid off. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam, please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Sam, you're alive? Yes, you you won't believe what happened. Your mom, she poisoned me with a sleeping potion. What? But somehow, the spell was broken. True love's kiss. Mom, how could you? I... You said you wanted to marry a prince. Oh, so you two were plotting together. Well, we couldn't let you marry that scum, now could we? See, the thing is, Daniel, I'd rather marry a guard than a selfish, cowardly prince. I was wrong, darling. Please forgive me. Then let me marry Sam. And maybe we can talk about forgiveness. Yes, Violet, you have my blessing. Well, then what about me? You? You wanted to have my finger removed. Oh, yes, I did say that. <laughs> did he really say that, Violet? You know, as the princess's guard, it's my job to protect her from harm. Oh, please, you don't scare me. <gasps> really? Because you look a little scared to me, Daniel. I suggest you run now. Y yes, sir. I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time. Violet, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I always had a feeling you and I were soulmates, Violet. Sorry you didn't get your Prince Charming. It's okay. I got something better. Ashley, you realize if you don't get to a thousand likes by the end of the year, you're not meeting your soulmate. Yes, I'm well aware of that. Thank you. She doesn't need a soulmate to be happy anyways. You guys are literally so pathetic. <laughs> hey, Ashley, do you think I could take a picture of your notes real quick? Uh, yeah, for sure. Here. Sweet, thanks. Let me give you a like. Thank you. Ha, she thought. <laughs> Just ignore them. How can I? 
I mean, at least you have 20 likes. I have two. And one of them's from you, and the other one's from my mom. Just face it, Chase, nobody likes me. I'm never going to find my soulmate. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Um, who are you? My name is Lindsay, and I'm here to make you the most liked girl in school. You want to make me the most liked girl in school? Yep, that's right. Why? Well, in all honesty, honey, your mom sent me. She did? Yeah, she's kind of worried about your social life. But don't worry, I'm going to take care of everything. So, if we take a look at this score sheet, you can see that you and your friends...